We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you. It is a brand new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. My dear friend, today I'll be praying special, powerful spiritual warfare prayers for your deliverance. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. It's going to be a bit different today because there will be a section where I'll pray for you and there'll be a section where I'll lead you in specific prayers that will help you so that whatever attack is coming up against your life, that attack will be broken and you will be delivered in the name of Jesus. I want you to say something with me. Say this out loud and mean it. Say, there is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance for all who believe. And even as you have confessed right now, my dear friend, receive your deliverance. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, I want to encourage you, lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and help me to pray. Come and help me to press in. Come and help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, my dear friend, even as we begin, it is so important that we know and we understand that God is willing to help us. And I'll release a message talking about this. Look out for that. It will come out soon. God is willing to help us. God is willing to heal us. God is willing to set us free. God is willing for us to be delivered. And it's important for us to understand this so that we can believe and we can have the faith we need in order to receive our miracle. Now, as we begin, I want you to have that in mind, that God wants to bless you. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. And as I pray for you, believe and receive in the name of Jesus. Now, let us begin by thanking and praising God. The Bible says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Therefore, let us do as the Bible says. And then we'll go into a time of prayer. I'll pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me on specific points. And then I'll lead you as the Holy Spirit leads me on specific points. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we just thank you. We thank you for another day that you've given us. It is a brand new day to live to the fullest. It is a day to press on and to receive from you. And we will do just that. We give you praise and we thank you for the opportunity to press on and to walk in our purpose and our destiny. We thank you that it is not over until you say it's over. And therefore, we have another opportunity, we have another chance to receive from you. We give you praise and we thank you that the best is always yet to come. And in Christ, we have such a great hope the hope of our glory, the hope that we have. And we thank you for the full and finished work of the cross. We thank you for Jesus Christ and how he makes a way for us, how he made a way, how he makes a way even in the future. We thank you for the grace that is availed to us by faith in Jesus Christ, that we can receive salvation and we can receive blessing after blessing. Even in the same way, I pray, let my dear friend be blessed going out and coming in in the name of Jesus Christ. And take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level. I ask this in Jesus' name. I thank you that even today as we pray, you're going to do what only you can do. And my dear friend's life will never be the same again. You will bless my dear friend and take my dear friend to greater glories and greater levels. And you will do amazing things in my dear friend's life. As we pray today, I give you praise that you are breaking the yoke of bondage and you are setting my dear friend free. You are setting my dear friend up for greatness. And my dear friend shall never be the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. And I thank you for your power. I thank you for your deliverance. And I thank you that right now, things are happening. Things are changing. And things are falling into place. And my dear friend is being set free. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, my dear friend, as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you, connect in faith believe and receive comment down below in the comment section and agree with me there is so much power in agreement and use that as a point of contact as a step of faith so that you connect in and you receive 
understand and know that it doesn't matter when you click on this video and when you watch it and it also doesn't matter when you watch it. The reason for this is distance and time is not a barrier for God. The same anointing, the same power that is available right here in studio can touch you and effect a divine change. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to touch you and he's going to set you free. So even in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend a stronger vehicle to complete the mission and the journey that you have called my dear friend to. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter. Strengthen the vehicle. Strengthen my dear friend. Strengthen the anointing. Increase it on my dear friend's life so that my dear friend may complete the divine mandate and mission that you've given them and the journey that they will be successful in finishing this race and they will be able to run in such a way to win the prize. My dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter. Father, I pray, cancel any witchcraft or witchcraft type prayers that are said against my dear friend to limit or to stop my dear friend from going forward that are said in such a way with the aim to pull my dear friend down or to cause trouble. Cancel and deliver my dear friend from all such witchcraft or witchcraft type prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray against any bad wishes or hopes. Cancel all such bad wishes that the devil or his cohorts may be trying to project on my dear friend. I pray this in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for complete deliverance from all demonic attacks, from all witchcraft, from all evil people that are sent against my dear friend. Deliver my dear friend, deliver my dear friend and set my dear friend free. And whatever trial my dear friend is going through, let my dear friend pass through quickly and come out on the other side shining. In the name of Jesus Christ, my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter. Father, I pray for good health over my dear friend and my dear friend's family. Cancel all attacks of infection or ailments or chronic conditions, Father, that are aimed against my dear friend's health. That the enemy has planned to stop my dear friend from going forward. I pray this in Jesus' name. Let the power in the name of Jesus intervene divinely and bring a change where change is needed. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray against accidents, calamities, appointments of disappointment, mishaps and strange attacks that are planned against my dear friend. Deliver my dear friend from all such things. Deliver my dear friend and my dear friend's family and keep my dear friend safe. Let my dear friend who's watching this video and my dear friend's family live a long full life with no premature death. I pray this in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for wisdom, insight, understanding and foresight and that the Holy Spirit will guide my dear friend who's watching this video and lead my dear friend into all truth and lead my dear friend into paths that are safe where the enemy may try but he will not succeed at pulling my dear friend down. I pray also for a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit over my dear friend and my dear friend's family. I pray for a fresh fire and fresh anointing over my dear friend. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Now, my dear friend, I've got five prayer points that I want you to pray with me. So I'll lead you and you follow along with me. Say this with me. Say, Father, we pray for the shield of faith to quench all the darts of the wicked one that are sent against us. In the name of Jesus. The next prayer point. Say, Father, we pray for the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth and the sandals of readiness to be on us in the name of Jesus, that we will be ready in season and out of season, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, turn all attacks around for our blessing, even right now, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. The next prayer, say, Father, remove stagnation from our lives and let us never stagnate. Let's say that once again, say, Father, remove stagnation from our lives and let us never stagnate in the name of Jesus. And the last but not the least prayer, say this with me, say, Father, protect us from the attacks that are planned by the enemy against us and any problems that are still to come in the future that would affect us. Father, stop them before they stop us. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Thank you for watching. 
If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.